Facebook. Everyone, my name is Nominique Bain, but you may know me as um, Laurely Patrika, and I want to share my testimony with you. Today, Thursday, February 15, 2014, I left work early in West Palm Beach, 4.45 p.m., and hit I-95 to head to quiet practice to my church in Miami. So I'm in the fast lane doing 80 miles per hour. <laughs> and as I try to switch over to the right lane, I was about to overtake the car. Another car came in the lane the same time. And as I saw the car, I blow my horn and I start to press on the brakes. And I spin my wheel to the left. And then it ended up spinning to the right. And the car just lose control and the car starts spinning around. Like I watching the car spin around, it's like this happening in slow motion. And I know y'all can see the cars behind me coming. My car end up turning and facing facing the traffic. I watching, I'm watching. <laughs> I'm watching the trucks coming towards me, and I I just let go of the wheel. I say, Lord, help me, please, Lord, Lord, help me, please. <laughs> so I just have my hands off of the wheels, and then the car and I'm spinning around again. I'm facing back the regular direction, and it's like it's like the car drive itself over to the side of the road. Like I know it was God, but at the moment I'm sitting there like. This car really just moving to the side of the road. Nobody touched me. It's it's like it's, it's like eight lanes out there. Not a single scratch on my car. Like I'm always trying to encourage people to live right for God and praise God and do what's right, live righteous. So when we die, we can go to heaven. But it's like you have to understand that this is a, a war we in, like a spiritual war. Satan hate us. He want me dead. He want you dead because he want us. He want us to live in sin. So when we die, we could go to hell with him. Because guess what? I could have been dead just now, and y'all would have never heard from me again. Nobody would have ever heard from me ever again. And guess what? Guess what? If I wasn't saved. I would have died and I would have gone to hell. <laughs> but God's so good. God's so good. Like, I always hear people in the church be like, oh, oh, God, this. And I could have been dead, but I really see what they talking about. Like, this is a personal testimony for me. And I really just want to share it with everybody while it take place so it could be real y'all can see that this ain't no joke i almost died a day i almost died a day and i never praise god like how i just finished praising him before and i never praise him i could praise him more than this even after this so guess what when i go to church on sunday ain't nobody can tell me sit down ain't nobody can tell me shut up because why they don't know what i've been through they don't know what god put me bring me through it's not a scratch on my car it's nothing wrong with me I could have been dead I could have been at least in the hospital just now I watched the truck and every single car was in every lane just now I watched them drive towards me but guess what Y'all think it's a joke. Y'all don't realize that tomorrow is not promised. I didn't leave work just now expecting for that to happen. But guess what? It did. And God was there at the right time. Anyways, I just wanted to share that story. So y'all know why I, when I carry on like I do, a Jesus freak. Because that's what I am from today on. If, I, if you didn't think I was before, I surely am now. I don't care what no one thinks. I don't care what Satan say. Ain't nobody can stop me from praising God. Guess what? Think it's a joke. Satan ain't playing. Satan is not playing. And everybody, y'all have to understand this. Like, it's serious. I'm 22 years old. I have no kids. I just graduated from college in December. We are in February. I am an accountant. Satan don't care about none of that. He don't care. He just want as much people as he can to go to hell with him. As quick as he can get them there. Keep playing this again. Satan real, but God realer. And he want us to repent and live right for him. Okay? Bye.